back and welcome to another unboxing video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate your support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. And uh, you see that small icon right there with my cartoon fa face on it. Just click on that to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, today's review will be about this awesome new figure in front of me, which is the brand new SH Figure Arts Deadpool from Tamashii Nation. So this uh, version is Deadpool is the movie version that we've all seen with uh, Ryan Reynolds in it you know and uh, this is a great representation of uh, Deadpool and I'm glad they were able to create a, a, an SH figure arts uh, uh, version of this uh, of the movie version of Deadpool and I uh, just can't wait to uh, check this figure out all right so let's just go ahead and check out the packaging real quick I'm really digging the box art for this uh, Deadpool to be honest with you guys so as you can see here, you have your Deadpool, uh, the image of the figure here in one of his poses. And I really like the lettering on the on the name here. And uh, I don't know what this says. I don't read Japanese, but it probably says Deadpool, SH Figure Arts. And they have your Tomashi Nation's hologram sticker that there, just to make sure your figure is authentic. Check out the sides. Here's an image of Deadpool, the figure. And in the back, you have your uh, figure in different poses uh, that he does. In the movie and uh you have your blue fin tomasha nation sticker that there so they're the ones who distribute this in the u.s and uh more text there deadpool on the top you know, i really like the window packaging too and uh as you can see there also an image of the figure so that's pretty much it for the packaging so let's go ahead and open this box up and check out the figure right there we go. There it is. There's the figure right there. And I really like the red background here. Check that out. And you have your instruction sheet. Check that out. So let's make sure to look at your instruction sheet when replacing parts just to make sure you, you know you don't break anything. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much it. And there you go. Alright, so let's check out his accessories first. So as you can see here. He has like six uh, extra, I mean, uh, six extra eyes, you know, with different expressions right there. So that'll be really cool to uh, use up whenever you want to um, uh, put a Deadpool with different uh, uh, expressions. And uh, you have your knife right there and a sheath for the knife. I can show you really quick. Oops, I hate this. Right there so I just take it and you can put the knife right in here so there you go so there you go and then you can just uh, think you that attaches to his leg and you have uh, two katanas here very uh, well painted I think it's a uh, um, I like the silver metallic silver on paint on it and as you can see here a little bit of red there on the by the handle and I really like the detail on the the handle right there so check that out it's pretty cool so same thing with the other one and then you have your um, sheets for the katanas let's see as you can see there and I think you can take this off see so whenever you're using a katanas just take this off and I think you can put it in his back. All right, that's that. And he has a bunch of hands, which is insane. This is like the most hands I've probably seen on a figure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pairs of extra hands, check that out. And uh, I don't know what this actually you can take this off. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the uh, that's the tool you you use to push out the eyes um, to uh, change uh, uh, use on Z to like uh, change the eyes. So uh, I can show you that later. So that's pretty much it for his accessories. Move on to the exciting part and check out the figure. So as you can see here, you still have your protective plastic here by the abs and you can just remove this right there. There you go. So this just prevents it from the sticking 
to this part right here. So there you go, man. Check this figure out, man. It is awesome. Uh, what can I say? Uh, just look, really looks like it just came straight out of the movie. <laughs> wow. And I really like the, um, the, uh, the damage or dirt on his suit. You know, it's showing, I don't, I don't even remember him having a clean suit at all. You know, it's always bloody and there's, he's always fighting. So, um, yeah, I really like this, uh, the, the color and of the black and the red, you know, it's a very dark red kind of, uh, uh, shade on it, which is pretty nice. So I got that out. A lot of detail, like the Deadpool logo right there. Hmm, there's like, I don't know if that's intentional. You see there's some uh, scuff marks right there. So that's good, that could be intentional. So, um, got the legs, so a lot of detail on this man. Which is pretty odd. I think it's where you insert the knife. So, check that out. Pretty cool. Check out the back, and this is where you insert the the uh, katana sheets. So, and check the outside view. Very nice. So in the back, I really like the detail on the belt too. The belt looks nice, and uh, pretty much and the boots. Check that out. And you have your knife here. Oh, you take this out. <laughs> just pops out like that so let me put that back in let's go so i hope that doesn't pop out uh often so very nice detail on the shoes too or his boots so all right so now let's check out the articulation so as you can see here his head is in a ball joint you can just pop it out easily like that you know to change the the eyes so you can like uh, he has a wide range of motion you can look up or down oops the neck is like slightly going it's getting misaligned so but oops whoa 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 so, all right there you go <laughs> all right so you can look up and down not very limited on the neck area right there all right, and uh, you can full 360 on the head. And then uh, on his arms, he has the butterfly joints right there. So as you can see from the back, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, there's no hollow areas right there. So that's pretty nice. And uh, I like these shoulder pads right here. So, and check out his elbows. Yeah, that looks good. And then he has the ab crunch right here, so up, down, and then you can, I can't really twist uh, that much left or right, but I think that's good enough. So then he has like uh, multiple joints on his thighs. You can do splits, which is pretty cool. Not a full split though. So, so there you go. I think he can do it this way too. So. Oh, his head keeps popping off. Starting to get annoying. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, and of course he has thigh joints right here. Let's check his elbow, uh, his knees. I think he can fully bend it. Uh, I think that's the max you can like really bend it. So, right. And his, on his feet, let's see his uh, ankle joints right there. So he has ankle swivels. You can pull off some really cool poses. And I really like the toe joints. So you have your toy joints right there. So that's been nice. All right, so now if you wanna uh, change the eyes on Deadpool, you can just pop this off easy. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure on that. Let's put the figure down. And now, uh, now you have to use get this tool. And uh, this tool came from this, uh, from the hand. So make sure to use this tool to replace the eye. So it's easy. Oop. So you just uh, go ahead and pop those eyes out right there. Uh, come on. There you go. Pops off easily. So one more time. I wish you could see this, but this part is so, but 
this one right there. Let's pop the other eye out. There you go. So there, you, and you can just pull that out like that. And let's get uh, one of his uh, kind of squinty eyes. So give him more expression. So this and that's Deadpool without his eyes. <laughs> so just uh, one here and oops, I think I'm doing it wrong right here. There you go. And let's check the other one. And if you look at the back of the of the eyes, you can see there's a, a number there. Hopefully you can see that it says L2. So that means, I think that means left eye. So this is the second set of, oops. This is the second set of eyes um, that he has. So. All right, so let's just put that in, align it properly, and there you go. Now Deadpool has, I don't know, is, are these just happy, happy eyes? <laughs> uh, so there you go. And let's put that back in, and there you go. So. All right, so now if you want to attach this knife, and the holder, knife holder on that wool. You can just uh, pop this one off. This one has no use whatsoever. And then you can just pop it here. I think that's the only place where you can put it anyway. <laughs> so there you go. So, and then you can just pop this off there. Back in there. Easy. Next up, if you want to attach uh, the holders for the katanas and I just take this and as you can see there's a hole there just then insert this and it will just uh, go in there easily there you go so there you go you have Deadpool with his katanas on his back all right so now if you want to change his hand just pop this off easily Ooh, came off like that <laughs> pretty easy and uh, same thing here same thing here so let's use one that's uh, can hold one of his katanas. Hey, come on. Right, use the right one. Use this. There you go. Pop it in, that's easy. And then, you can use one of these. So, there you go. So that's how he changes hands, pretty easy. And then let's put one of his swords in here. Just be careful when inserting the sword. You don't want to damage. You want to, you want to, want to break it or bend the sword. So there you go. Deadpool with his katanas. All right, so let's go ahead and check out how tall Deadpool is. He is about, uh, I think he's six, six inches tall. Yeah, looks about right. So. All right, here we have him standing to next to my SH Figures figures. He I have the Age of Ultron cap on the left, and then I have the Mark 45 Iron Man from also from Age of Ultron, and both of these are SH figure arts. And he looks, uh, he scales pretty well with them. And uh, Iron Man, I think it's a little bit taller than him because of the armor. But uh, yeah, he looks good uh, next to them. And next up, he is standing next to a Figma Hulk. As you can see there, man, there's a big size difference. I mean, he, Hulk is a very huge figure and uh, that's how he pretty much sizes up with him. So here we have Deadpool standing next to some uh, Marvel Legends figures. Here's the new Wolverine from the uh, animated series. And then I have uh, the Cyclops from the Love Triangle 3-pack. And uh, I think uh, it is kind of like small compared to the the Marvel Legends figures. And that's typical because he is a different line, uh, SH Figure Arts, and uh, they tend to be smaller or shorter. And uh, he is... Uh, this is part, it is the movie Deadpool. I don't have the uh, movie, uh, the Marvel Legends uh, Deadpool uh, to compare him with. So it's pretty much I'm comparing with these two Marvel Legends figures. 
So the SH figure as Deadpool is a really a uh, awesome figure and right? overall. Um, I'm really digging the uh, overall look and the feel of the figure. The, uh, there's uh, a lot of articulation on it. You know, it can, it's not very limited. Uh, you can pull up some so many poses with it. I really like they included uh, the two katanas with him, and uh, you can you have so many different uh, hands that they included, and you can use for different poses and expressions, and um, that's pretty nice. You know, um, uh, I really like the. As you can see here, his suit, the way they designed it, it's like, uh, I didn't show it earlier, but there's some texture on the suit. So it's not shiny or smooth. There's some texture on that. That's pretty awesome. And uh, so just the overall feel and look of the figure, man, as you can see there. Man, it looks just, it looks great, man. So anyway, uh, that's enough of the positives, but here are the things that I really don't like about the figure. It's like, uh, there, mine has actually has some minor uh, paint uh, issues, as you can see here on the eyes. If you look straight at it, uh, one of them is crooked because the right eye is not painted on correctly, so it's not lined up. And also here, I noticed here too on the belt, um, on his Deadpool logo right there, um, it's not uh, aligned properly. The red is not aligned properly. So it's kind of like overlapping there. So for a little bit with the paint and I didn't like that. And uh, these parts keep on falling off, you know, the knife and the sheaths for the, for the katanas keep popping out. And also they didn't include guns with Deadpool. And as you can see here on the way they molded it, um, there are holes there. I, th I think this is where they go, where the holsters for the guns go for his pistols. Check that out, uh, there, the holsters uh, or go there and they didn't include any guns with it. I think that was, uh, I don't know whose decision was it, maybe Marvel's, you know, that they didn't want to include uh, uh, weapons with the figure or it could be SH figure art, I don't know, or whose decision with it, but um, I guess, uh, they don't want to include dead guns with the action figure. But, you know, that's how it is. So I guess we're going to have to uh, look for different options where we can get a holster for him and guns. Uh, I don't have the Marvel Legends uh, figure to compare him with. Um, I think maybe the Marvel Legends Deadpool has uh, weapons or guns included with him, you know, aside from the swords. But uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of lame that they didn't include guns with him. But uh, still an awesome figure, you know, and uh, definitely a uh, must add to your SH Figure Arts uh, MCU collection. And that wraps up my review of the brand new SH Figure Arts Deadpool. Check this figure out in hand. Man, it's just an awesome looking figure. I really like the overall look of him and a very nice articulation on the figure also. You know, I'm just disappointed that they included guns with him, but you know, I'll just have to improvise with that. So anyway, if you really want this figure, just go ahead and uh, um, look at your uh, um, local hobby shops or even go online, you know, wherever you buy your figures and check him out. He's out in the US already. He's been out in Japan for months already. So you can get it there, but it's going to be more expensive. But I highly suggest you guys get him from your here in the US. You know, he's pretty much out there right now. And he's going for like probably 70 to $80, you know, and uh, yeah, that's how much it is right now. So uh, yeah, uh, just an awesome collection, uh, figure to add to your uh, SH Figure Arts MCU uh, collection, you know, and he fits very well with the other characters, you know. So uh, anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.